Now for this part then, we're told that this lambda is suspended from this point A and we've got to find out the angle that the edge here AB makes with the downward vertical. Now to appreciate problems like this, you should be familiar with the fact that the centre of mass which we found out in the earlier part which was a distance of 61 27ths A away from this edge AE. Well you should be familiar with the fact that it always aligns itself directly below the point where you're suspending or hanging the lamina from. So the angle that we're looking at is, if I was to draw a line to there, would be this angle in here. I'll show you a little animation. Now if we take our lamina and suspend it then from A, and then just release it, it's going to fall like this and then come to rest with the centre of mass vertically then below A. So hopefully you can see then that this is the angle theta that I've shown you up here. So to get this angle theta all we need to do is just use basic trigonometry. We could draw a line from here, the centre of mass, right up to that edge AB makes a right angle triangle and we've got this distance now it's of length A. So we've got the opposite side and we've got the adjacent side so we could say that tan of that angle tan theta equals the opposite A all divided by the adjacent side 61 over 27 A and the A's cancel leaving us with one there and that just goes. So when you divide one by 61 over 27, it's gonna give you 27 over 61. So therefore, to get theta, just take the inverse tan of both sides and you got 27 over 61. And if you do that, you should end up with 23 0.875 and so on degrees which when rounded say to three significant figures is 23.9 degrees to 3SF. Okay 